the three questions posed are as follows. Do we have the red alerts? One, two, what next? Three, have we engaged Air France on this issue? Let's start with the first question. Yes, there are red alerts. Is there documented evidence indicating who issued those alerts and uh, to whom were they directed? No, we don't have documented evidence. And this is the nature of a bandit government. They make decisions without evidencing them in writing. Or if at all there are evidence in writing, they are hidden. You remember on the 12th of uh, November, Justice Hedwig Moody said, I have not seen any documented evidence of this red lines. Your application, Miguna Miguna, is for now speculatory. Perhaps you fly and we see if you'll be restricted from coming to Kenya. And we said, yes, we will abide by the direction and order of the judge. And what happened? He was precluded from boarding the plane yesterday from Bali. He spoke to the airline officials and they confirmed to him that indeed a red alert was issued to Air France yesterday morning. So there is a red alert. Is a red alert a known concept in law, domestically and internationally? No. It's a figment of banditry. Why now? We've been doing this for the last four years and we'll continue doing it anytime. Some of you may want to say some of us are doing it because we are vying. No. On the 2nd of February 2018 is when we commence this enterprise. And however long it takes, it must be accomplished. What next? I indicated to you when I first spoke that we have already gone back to court. We've asked the judge to lift the red alert to compel Air France to board Miguna Miguna on the next available flight from Berlin to Paris en route Nairobi. And we've also asked the High Court to compel the government of the Republic of Kenya to take all measures necessary to ensure the unrestricted conveyance of Miguna Miguna from Berlin through Paris to Nairobi.